When entering into the world of Street Fighter, it is actually quite difficult to know where you should begin when trying to learn and enjoy the game. The mistake I feel a lot of new players make when starting the game is that they try to learn combos and advanced moves or techniques and then try to apply them in game. But how do you apply them in game? The first thing I think that you should learn when trying to learn Street Fighter is not any of these things, but something that sounds deep but is very easy to understand, the game plan. In Street Fighter, everyone has a game plan, whether it's deliberate or if it's just fallen into place by hours of play. Everyone seems to have an idea of what they want to do when playing the game, and in my opinion, this is the first step when starting to learn Street Fighter. Setting up a relatively simple and easy game plan without the need of advanced combos or moves. To give you an example, we will in this video create a simple, basic game plan using Street Fighter 6 Ryu on modern controls. Then we use this game plan until it no longer works. At that point, we will add, remove, or adjust parts of the game plan based on the problems we experienced in the matches we played. In our game plan, we will try to get the opponent to either jump at us or walk themselves to the corner. We will use the special button to throw a Dukin and wait for a jump. If they do jump, we will use the forward and special button to do a Shoryuken and beat them out of the air. The second thing we will try to do is use the crouching medium kick and cancel it into the Hadouken whenever the opponent is closing in. We can also close in on the opponent and do this. If it is too difficult to cancel into the Hadouken at this point, we can just use the crouching medium kick and the Hadouken separate. If the opponent jumps and we land the Shoryuken, we can try to throw the opponent if they quick rise. If they back roll, it is more difficult to get a throw on them, so we can either try to walk up to them and throw them, or just use the crouching mini kick to Hadouken. We can continue to do this until the opponent is defeated. We use the Hadouken and the crouching medium kick into Hadouken, or just crouching medium kick trying to get the opponent to corner themselves, or jump in on us. Now we have created the first step of our simple game plan. Let's see what kind of issues we might face and then how we can adapt and evolve our game plan. The first issue we face is that the opponent would escape our throw by teching or jumping out or back rolling and pressing a button. The way to counter this is to hold the assist button and press the medium button repeatedly for an assisted combo to try and catch them jumping or teching. Medium assist combo for Ryu might not reach if they back roll, so we can revert back to just using crouching medium kick to Hadouken if they do back roll. Another issue we might face when using this game plan is that the opponent would have times use drive impact to try to counter both our Hadouken and our crouching medium kick to Hadouken. So in this scenario we must consider to drop the parts of our game plan or evolve them by adjusting the usage. We adapt to the drive impact by adding moments and periods of time in our game plan where we just wait for the drive impact and then counter it with our own drive impact. If we manage to do this, we can do the heavy assist combo by holding the assist button and pressing the heavy button repeatedly until the combo is finished. The third issue we faced is that while waiting for the opponent to jump, they close the distance by dashing, walking or drive rushing in. So here we realize that we need to adjust the usage of crouching medium kick and Hadouken based on the opponent. If they like to jump, we keep it moderate, but if they like to dash or drive rush or just move forward, we try to use it more. And then we adjust that part of our game plan as we continue playing and probably based on our opponents. Now the game plan has more aspects, but it is still relatively simple. We use the Hadouken and the crouching medium kick to Hadouken and just the crouching medium kick trying to get the opponent to either jump at us or drive impact us or corner themselves. Both the jump and the drive impact can be countered to jump by the Shoryuken and the drive impact by our own drive impact. And we have also realized that against some opponents we need to do more of certain parts of the game plan and against other opponents we need to do more of other parts of the game plan. This is something we experiment with as long as we play Street Fighter and is a part of the adapting to the opponent and the game. As we progress in the game plan we can start adding to it and taking away from it. Things we can start adding when we feel comfortable is parrying fireballs, dry rushing in either in neutral or from a button and much much more. I really feel that if you start with a simple game plan that helps you learn and understand how the game can be played and then start adding on as you progress it's a really good way to learn and enjoy Street Fighter. This might not be the best way for everyone to learn and enjoy the game but I really hope it can provide some help along the way. Thanks a lot for watching, comment if there's anything you want to say, I would also appreciate it if you could like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel.